day two of the uh, Moth Nationals here in Wanji and it's been a blowout. So the uh, the RCO is actually uh, a bit of bit of Gooby Jensen showing his guns just coming past. Nice work. The RCO has pulled it for the day, so we've decided to run the uh, being in the corners dash for cash in a format that gets the last two boats dropping out after each race. Then it's the uh, survival of the fittest. The last two takes the cash. The 750 bucks worth of uh, worth of KA products or 500 bucks worth of cash, and also. Um, a bottle of rum, which is probably the most important thing. That uh, the crowd is building massive. The anticipation is just is just you can cut the air with a with a spoon. It's massive. Right, a quick uh, quick call on the format. We got the start here. We go across to mark one, then they make their way up to the top mark up there. Then they come back down. They got a drive around this mark, 300 miles an hour around mark three, back around mark four to the finish. So it's all going to be pretty full on. 10 seconds, 4, 3, 2, 1, Ian Jensen nailed the start, oh you got Tommy Slinksby coming on high, they're all off, Red Bull Racing's into it, Scott, Josh McKnight, oh there's plenty of calling, plenty of calling, get up, up, room, 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 oh, oh crashes, oh Scott, Babby's out of shocker, yeah, let's go top mark. There's been a yell and screaming, oh Scott Beebe's had a big dingle, Joe Turner's nearly crashed near him again. And Pete Burling last over the line. Could be a shock exit here. Could be a big, big upset. Here they go, first around, Thomas Slingsby. Second around, the Mothman, Joe Turner. Tom's just had a massive big uh, venting on his rudder. And the breeze has just died for the back guys. They are in absolutely nothing. These two are just taken off. Pretty much shut the gate for them pair. So, oh, a bit of carnage on the jive mark. Scotty's just put a wing in and ducked. Oh, and so is Dave Lister. And he has saved it. And it is Tommy first, Joe second. Got Nathan Outridge followed by Kiwi Pete who's made a miraculous comeback being last. Um, you've got uh, Josh McKnight. And Pete, they're just sort of cruising over the finish. Someone's coming in with a lot of speed there. Who is that? Goobies. Pete Burling, after a crap start, has absolutely uh, got out of jail. Righto, Scott Babbage is through. Red Bull Racing, through. It's nuking out here, as you can see from our power plant over here. It's going off in Wanji Town. And we're about to start and racing and once again we have Scotty Babbage good start Tommy behind him Nathan's in the middle Joe Turner's coming in from the bottom Scott's around clean Tommy's Nathan Goobs Joe oh Joe just dipped one right in front of Pete then you got Scott Babbage BB thanks Hales Red Bull Racing and then Josh McKnight taking it up the rear well, oh, Luca Damick's had an absolute Barry Crocker of a start. Here he goes, as we've seen, but anything can happen in this uh, Bang in the Corners Cup because uh, Pete Burling done the same thing and ended up getting through. Oh, Nathan's nearly ran straight over the top of him. Here they come straight past us in our central commentary position. So we have Tommy, Joe, Scotty Babbage, the Kiwi, followed by Nathan Uderidge. That's for you, Shirley. And we have Josh McKnight. Oh yeah, Luca Damick just hit this piss. Red Bull Racing on a good fly here. Luca Damick doing his best Ian Thorpe. Swim, son, swim. Oh, Goobs hit the wing. And he's gonna tip on the boat. Oh, 20, 30 grams worth of damage. AMAC could be loving it. Pete Burling stacked. Oh, Nathan stacked right in front of, of, uh, of Scott BB. Boy Rim's getting dobbed, oh, Tommy's lost a hat, Josh McKnight's winning, oh look at the spark here, Joe and Scott Beebe, Babbage, Pukiwi Pete, there's bloody things going everywhere. Josh has hit the water, put a wing in, well, just when you think he's got it sewn up, anything can happen. Meanwhile the three leaders, Tommy's taking control, Scotty Babbage is in an absolute smoker, Uderich is coming in, he's going to take out his gold medal buddy in a minute. Straight around the, uh, the, the the guns, it's a race for the who's out between the two London gold medalist buddies. They're now enemies at the moment. 
This is a fight between Nathan Outridge and Goobs to see who is eliminated. Scott Beebe has, I don't know, he's doing his hair or something over the back here, but he's out. Oh, this could be a very close finish here. Josh McKnight might have the momentum. Tommy's hanging, hanging, hanging. Oh, Tommy's hit it. Josh McKnight's got it. Followed by Scott Channel 7. Then you got Joe, Mothman Turner. Then you've got the Kiwi coming through. Ah, here's the real race. Back here for the final elimination. He's giving him, give him a little bit of a... Uh, I'm the skipper there, Goobs. You do what I say because I've got the fancy helmet. And he's through. So, Outreach has survived after the crash at the start. The hot favourite with the hot guns is gone. Half time here at the Bang in the Corners Cup. We're giving out water to all the sailors. Giving them a go. Make sure they can hang in here for the long haul of another 20 minutes of sprint racing. Oh, Pete, buddy Pete. Josh McKnight, winner of the race. Good job. Uh, Moth Squad had some issues, huh? Having a little toilet break just before the start. Not sure where that's wise. Ten seconds to go. We've got a couple of guys hot at the top mark here. Here they go. They're lining up. Mothman Turner. No, it's it's actually Tommy. Tommy Nohat. He has failed to foil. That just sucks. And it's Scotty Babby drowned first, followed by Mothman Turner, followed by Pete the Wee Wee Man. Then you got Outridge. Oh, they're all dipping wings. Tommy, what's he doing? A double duck jive. Retro Metro around the course. What's he doing there? It's Jay's in a gale there. Here he comes. How slow. And sorry. You got Joe coming into the jive. If and has he nailed it? Pete Burley, big nose dive. Oh, that could this could bring the the uh, the last place. See, it's not over till it's over. Watch out for Nate. Pete is trying all sorts. Nathan Outridge is doing a some sort of a I don't know. He's getting the most out of his race fees. That's for sure. What's your? Uh, no, no. Let's follow these guys in. Oh, Tommy! Oh, Tommy's decided to lose his hat again. Josh McKnight coming in for the drive. The first of the losers in this round. Is he out? He is O-U-T. Out. So Josh McKnight got a fright. That's it for the night. He's gone. Hamburger time. In for a wildcat, Mr. McKnight. Speed run. I reckon he's doing at least three and a half knots. He's gone the bare pole uh, option. Here we are, second last heat, which I th of the uh, of the bang in the corners cup. I've got a bit of a heckling going on here, but current conditions is uh, the, the breeze has just died a bit. But in, in five seconds' time, it'll be 30 knots again. We have catastro catastrophic conditions as far as weather. We've got 40 degrees all day, one of the hottest days of the year, actually the hottest day because it's only the sixth or seventh of this January, so definitely the hottest day of the year. Eighth. Thank you, calendar girl. Um, so it's the 8th of January and we have 40 odd degrees. We have Artemis Racing going behind me here in one of them uh, nice little puffs we're just discussing. So we have left Artemis Racing and Outridge. We have Kiwi Shagger Racing, Peter Burling. We have Channel 7, Love It 7 with Scotty Babbage. And we also have the Mothman, Joe Turner. They are our final four, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what unfolds in this race. We just Googled this and we've, we've realised that the top four in the Bang in the Corners Cup is the top four from the Belmont Worlds. What are the odds? Hmm, I reckon they'd be bigger than $1.50 to one. Anyway, if you go on it, you're a winner. Penultimate heat, we have 85 to 90 degree wind shifts coming from the northwest southerly. It is all over the place here in Wanji Bay. Perfect conditions for the Bang in the Corners Cup. Five seconds, Scotty Babbage looks like he might have the run. He's got it up and oh, stopped. Very boring start, no wind, no wind. The boys are all having a cup of tea and a biscuit and they're about to go. And here they go. And soon, someone please. Kiwi have liftoff. Kiwi has liftoff. Kiwis can fly. Then you have Mothman Turner. Uteridge is struggling to stay up. But he's away. No, no. Oh, Uteridge is doing a little bit of a dance and a swing and a tip oh, and a jump and a 
upside down and adjust your hat. Look at the angle these guys are on. They're going straight to the top mark. What has happened here to the course? Now we have four sabots in the water low riding. No breeze, but we are out in the outside of the course here in an absolute gale. Scott's up, he's got breeze. Oh, Joe Turner will be cursing this. Oh, and there's the kiss from the commentator at the front. Oh, up, oh, and can he keep it going? Oh, it looks like he might. Channel 7's got some breeze. This, this will be it. Oh, Scott, can he hold on to this drive? Joe has dipped the wing. Big pressure. And he's taking it in for the final position in the final, as it would appear. And here we go. Run, son, run. Show us your oh, backward moonwalk. Nice work. And there he goes with his starry bum. Doing some sort of a whoop, zipped up. Not sure what that is. It looks like a uh, running man with this. Can't run really <laughs> very good. Here we go. One minute. We have an Anzac challenge here. We have Peter Kiwi Burling up against Scott Channel 7, home and away, whatever you want to call him, Babbage. Yes, and we have a bit of breeze coming in right on cue here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Bang in the Corners Cup final brought to you live by Bove TV. Okay, here we go for a start. Peter Burling has got the best of the start. Up and foiling. Pressure on the course. Scott has managed to say probably 30 boat lengths behind, but we'll see what happens. And here we go, Pete first round. Breeze has gone very, very left on the course, so the boys can... Scott seemed to pick up a bit of there. I reckon he's probably back to about 20 boat lengths. I know, both tacked. Nice pressure all the way to the top mark here by the looks. Scott's working hard. Scott only needs a bit of love in here. Pete's coming into a nice little line now. Kiwi Pete. He's got the good pressure line. He's away. Scott's in the same pressure. No, Scott's actually dying. Scott's struggling. Pressure coming from our left where Pete is heading towards. He's just got to take it home, no breakages, no mishaps, and the bang in the corners cup is going over the ditch. That's very bad for Scott, but very good for Pete. Here he goes, Peter Kiwi Burling, giving it to it, he'd be well over 20s there, 25's easy. Doing it on his ear, take it home son. We are following the inaugural winner of the Bang in the Corners Cup, Peter Burling. Hey! And a great dismount. <laughs> Bringing the uh, Aussie flag home. Here he goes. He is in a breeze and he's hiking hard. Holy smokies. Well done. Runner up in the Bang in the Corners Cup goes to Australia. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with the inaugural winner of the Bang in the Corners Cup, Pee Wee the Kiwi, the Burling. How was that, Pete? Yeah, well, uh, got a pretty good start, and actually it's pretty shifty here uh, in this direction in Wanji, and yeah, managed to keep it on the foils. So what do you think of the format, mate, the knockout format? You're doing a bit of huffing and puffing, so it was obviously hard work. Yeah, well, it's just so gusty, you always, it's everything on and off, and yeah, pretty tired, and it's just so hot today, I think I've drunk it couple of the waters you've given me thank you very much for that all thank right you. so you want to thank you the major sponsor for the uh for the event yeah well, obviously uh parents thank for the uh major contributor put a little kiwi on my sail today you know i think it might be a good luck charm what's your favorite pastime oh, i reckon uh quite enjoy watching the uh, bang in the corners youtube bang in the corners bang in the corners